you very much uh, for the opportunity provided to talk more about the SDG number one. I think to understand where this concept emanates from, I'll just try to give a context before I go through the presentation. Uh, as you all know, Namibia, like most uh, developing countries, uh, needs fiscal space to uh, support uh, development. At the same time, uh, we are constrained as a country from a fiscal point of view. So this calls for innovative approaches on how to identify financial models that are inclusive, financial models that don't place burden on the fiscal. So we have identified a blended financing approach as one of the tools that can release pressure from acquiring sovereign currency for financing projects. So uh, a blended financing uh, uh, facility is, 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 is a, an investment platform that crowd in different you know, players uh, such as philanthropic capital, um, uh, development, donor capital, private sector capital, FDI capital, and grant capital, just, just, just in short. Uh, and we use that to leverage private sector capital in terms of de-risking such capital for, 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 for development and operational finance. So we are getting this instrument from the SDG Indonesia 1, so there's a blueprint on that one, where SDG Indonesia 1 managed to uh, attract 3 billion US dollars without exposing uh, the government balance sheet, and this is what we are working towards. And for us to achieve that, we have strategically partnered with the climate fund managers, as well as the investment international. When I say we, the Environmental Investment Fund of Namibia. So climate fund managers are uh, a, a, a global climate uh, uh, asset uh, uh, entity that specialized in, uh, in, 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 in equity investment. And they've got a good track record with deploying capital through blended financing instruments. And then the Invest International is a development fund, DFI, uh, for the Dutch government. So they used this vehicle to address uh, uh, global challenges through, through, through Dutch solutions. That's how they call themselves. So they're very good partners. And then the Environmental Investment Fund, of course, is an entity of the state and uh, registered under uh, established under the act of parliament here in Namibia. So we, the three entities, have come together and established this uh, uh, SDG, Namibia One Fund, with the aim to raise about one billion US dollars uh, for deployment into the value chains of the green hydrogen assets. And that one billion US dollars does not include leveraging, which can be three to four folds. Okay, let me start my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> so, when do we get our mandate to, 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 to come up with such structure? Uh, we are given this mandate by the Namibian people. We are creating international partnership through partnering with a variety of finances around the world. We are investing in infrastructure that are critical to our development. We are creating good governance systems that can deploy capital to, the, to, 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 to a portfolio that is required by the, the country, and creating another in, in, uh, economy on top of the already existing economy by supporting the green hydrogen uh, economy in the country. Then social progression, that's where all issues that we discuss of employment, you know, poverty alleviation, etc., comes from here. Yeah. So that's how a blended financing action looks like. Yeah. At its peak, that's where early, early, early investment comes in uh, of, 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 of development capital. So how it will be structured is this, there will be two, three funds, development fund, construction fund, as well as operational fund. Each has got its own risk profile. 
So a development, uh, the development stage, this this high risk uh, capital required for that, and it's more concessional financing that is grants as well as uh, uh, low low risk uh, financing uh, structures. At construction, that is after developing the project to final investment decision. Uh, that's where much of the equity will take place, and it, then at operation, that's where much of the low risk uh, capital will take place. And if you look at those structures, uh, at development stage, it's more grants, it, and it's low, it's high, high, high risk capital. So that is just in a nutshell how it looks like. Yeah. So to your left, is it your left of my right? To the left, uh, those are the fund managers. This is the climate fund managers, uh, the environmental investment fund of Namibia, as well as the Invest International. Uh, then create, they created the SDG and the Oman Fund. To date, we have signed the Heads of Agreement, which is a partnership agreement that allows us to start sensitizing other investors on how to, to participate in this blended financing tool. And again, if you look at the, the structure of the fund, yeah, we're working with, with the ecosystem that involves international players, uh, regional or international players, as well as uh, 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 that is on different stage of funding, like development fund, construction fund, and operational fund, as well as a uh, domestic uh, market in terms of uh, investment. So who are these regional or international partners that we're talking to? Uh, at an international level, we've started conversation with a variety of actors. There's, there's been a commitment already, but uh, you know, at this time, I can't mention the, the, the numbers. Uh, I haven't been mandated to mention the numbers. Uh, we are talking to the Green Climate Fund, to FMO, to KFW, to, to the European Investment Bank, etc. At the regional level, uh, the African Development Bank has also started, you know, committing resources towards the SDG number one structure. Oh, I can see, I can see the MD of, of NetBank looking for a logo there. But we'll be coming to you, this is not exhaustive. <laughs> this is not exhaustive. So we'll be, we'll be approaching all domestic players uh, on the financial markets. Uh, to participate in this in this uh, in this SDG one, I'm told I'm left with two minutes. Yeah? Okay. So that's how it looks like, you know, from the detail detail structure of the SDG number one fund. And again, the left side, those are the roles of each each fund managers uh, is, is articulated in the on. The right side is investors, typical typical uh, instruments that could be followed by investors. That is debt, equity. Mezzanine financing, grants, you know, convertible loans, and all, all retainable grants, etc. So that funding will come in, its, in, a, in a port, then deployed to different projects. What kind, of, what, what, what kind of projects are we talking about here? It's all the value chains of green hydrogen. So this is not a capital raising platform for all of, 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 of the green hydrogen economy. But I think what's important to note, this is my last slide, what's important to note, yeah, each, each segment here has got its own challenges when it comes to financial modeling and, and the risks. So we have to come with tactical risk management and, and mitigation instruments to de-risk private sector investment. And that's where blended finance comes from. We use grant public financing and to de-risk uh, uh, private sector or private capital. I think I've reached the end of the presentation and thank you so much.